Good morning everyone, I'm Ken, Financial Analyst from Regain Capital and welcome to our Morning Market Briefing on the 20th of November, Friday. As usual, in our Market Briefing, we will cover three parts, namely the fundamentals, the news release and the technical analysis. So without further ado, let's start off with the fundamentals. When we take a look at yesterday's market movement, we can see gold extending losses by 0.34%, the pair of Euro US dollar climbed higher by 0.18%, the dollar index fell by 0.28%, while oil inching higher by 0.31%. So let's get into details with our headlines of today. First off, we have a breaking news on Brexit where negotiations are halted. Now, just as investors are anticipating for a possible Brexit deal next week, negotiations between the United Kingdom and the European Union were put to a temporary halt after one member from EU's negotiating team contracted the COVID-19. Now, following the incident, uh, European Union's negotiator, uh, Michel Barnier, announced the suspension of face-to-face negotiations for a short period while continuing to work remotely in accordance to proper guidelines. Now, however, the recent progress in Brexit talks, according to related officials, had kept the optimism for a deal boosted. So overall, despite the negotiations being halted, they will still resume uh, remotely and continue negotiations, most probably through phone calls. And an update on the Brexit deal would most likely be resurfacing into the market next week. So instruments involved here would be pound itself. Moving on, another news on Tuesday was that the US Treasury Secretary Secretary is planning to end emergency Fed programs. Now, according to the statement on Thursday, US Treasury Secretary US Treasury Secretary uh, Steve Mnuchin said that he does not plan to extend several key lending programs beyond the expiry date at the end of 2020. Now, the loans from the Secretary to the Fed were intended to support the US economy in terms of uh, credit loans and also loans to middle business, where Mnuchin had requested the Fed to return all unused funds. Now, the statement received strong backlash from the Fed, saying that the country is in desperate need of more fiscal support rather than monetary support. Now, that comes uh, especially during these times of uh, during the increasing record high uh, number of infections in the country. So overall, we will see how the dispute are uh, being settled between the government and the central bank in order to put their differences aside and supporting the citizens and the country's economy. So if the f- uh, the confirmation of the emergency programs to is to be ended, that would uh, most likely trigger a strong impact into the market where we could see dollar uh, regaining demands in concerns of less uh, fiscal support provided by the government. So overall, we will see how it turns out and how the market would react to it. So instruments involved here would be dollar index itself. Moving on, let's take a look at the news release for today. So please take note, time stated here, GMT plus 8. So today we have a central bank speech again from the European Central Bank led by President Christine Lagarde at 4.15pm. So from the speech, investors can obtain the latest outlook on the European Union's economy uh, activity and performance and also to obtain further signals on what the central bank uh, might take in order to further support the economy. At 9.30 would be the core retail sales from Canada where it is expected to fall from previous month of 0.5% to 0.2%, signalling an overall uh, decrease in economic activity in terms of the retail sales. And that is actually an indication of a slow economic slowdown for Canada. Any reading below the forecasted value would exert negative pressure onto the Canadian dollar. So that's all for the news release. Moving on, let's take a look at the technicals. So here's an overview of instruments to be covered. First off, Euro US dollar and the H4 chart showing an uptrend. US dollar Japanese yen H4 showing downtrend. US dollar Canadian dollar H4 also in the downtrend and gold in its H4 chart also in the downtrend. So let's get into details with the chart analysis, starting with the Euro. So overall, we can see that the pair has been traded higher now testing back towards the resistance near 1.1890. 
Overall, MACD signaling a bias bullish momentum, and in terms of its daily chart, we can see that the pair remains spotted above its moving averages, signaling a, st a still healthy bullish trend in the long term. So, in terms of the H4, we will wait for the breakout above the resistance at 1.1890. After the breakout, cautious investors are advised to consider long positions. Stop loss should be placed 30 pips from the level at 1.1860 and a take profit of 60 pips at 1.1950. However, if the pair fails to break above the resistance level, further retracement or technical correction can be all the way back towards the previous resistance turn support near 1.1830. Aggressive investors then are advised to consider short-term short positions. Stop loss should be placed 30 pips above the resistance at 1.1920 and a take profit of 50 pips to be safe just right above the support line of 1.1830. Next for the pair of US dollar Japanese yen. Now constructing the Fibonacci from the high level over here towards the low, we can see that the pair is currently testing towards the turning point of the 23.6 Fibonacci near 103.9. MACD signaling a bias bullish momentum suggests that the pair might be having a short-term technical correction and rebounding back towards its Fibonacci uh, level, most likely towards the 38.2 after the breakout at the 23.6. So cautious investors are advised to consider long positions after a successful breakout above the 23.6 resi uh, resistance near 103.9 with a stop loss of 30 pips at 103.6 and a take profit of 50 pips above the 38.2 near to its 60 moving average at 104.4 However, if the pair fails to break above, it might continue its long-term trend uh, downwards possibly to its lowest level at the previous uh, during October near 103.1 or 103.2 uh, Investors are then advised to consider short positions a Stop loss should be placed above the 20 moving average near 104 and a take profit can be targeted all the way towards the lowest point at 103.2 Next for the pair of US dollar Canadian dollar now also constructing the Fibonacci from the high towards the low we have obtained levels as such where we can see that the pair has actually uh, face uh, rejection from the 38.2 Fibonacci near 1.3110 and it's now heading back towards uh, following a downtrend. So overall cautious investors are advised to wait for the breakout below the 33.6 Fibonacci near 1.3040 before entering into short positions for the pair where a stop loss can be placed at 1.3070 and a take profit of 60 pips at 1.29. Eight zero. However, if the pair fails to break below 23.6, it will most likely play sideways between the 50.0 Fibonacci and the 23.6 Fibonacci. Investors are then advised to consider long positions from at the bottom level and a take profit first targeted all the way to the 38.2 Fibonacci. Lastly, for gold in the search for chart, now constructing the Fibonacci for gold from the highest point here to the lowest point. We can see that yesterday's trading has showed that the, uh, the gold has lost its bearish momentum uh, near the support level at 1860, closing all of its candles, leaving long shadows just right below the support level. So MACD signaling a uh, diminishing bearish momentum suggests gold to experience technical rebound back to its situation 3.6 Fibonacci near 1878 or 1880. So overall, investors can consider long positions at the current level 1867. Stop loss should be placed below the support level at 1857 as much as 100 pips and take profit of 150 pips all the way towards uh, 1880 or a longer term would be close to 38.2 at 1895. However, if gold managed to break below the support level and also the 0, 0.0 Fibonacci, it might uh, the, the gold might then con uh, continue its downtrend all the way towards the 200 moving average support near 1825. After the breakout below the psychological level at the 0, 0.0 Fibonacci, investors are then advised to consider short positions. Stop loss should be placed uh, 100 pips from the level at 1860 and a take profit of 200 pips at 1830. So that is all for our market briefing.
Please remember to follow us on our social media such as Facebook, Telegram, Twitter as well as Instagram. And feel free to drop by our website at www.regaincapital.com to get updated on all the latest market news as well as education posts for our clients. So thank you all for listening. We'll see you next week on our market briefing and happy trading to all.